Welcome to Fallout number eight, where I am incredibly demoralized, and I kind of want to kill myself. I swear to God, stop, stop, stop doing that. I'm just trying to level up. I just, I just want to level up. I feel like I can level up, but I don't know how. I forgot to Google that. I did Google um, how to use first aid, and I'm trying to use that. Oh, is that how? So I can try it, and then uh, I will earn 25 XP, and I will heal four hit points. So I, it said I can do this three times a day, and each attempt will take half an hour, which is fine by me. Um, so that's useful, I, but I failed to do any healing. And um, okay. So there we go. We healed one, <laughs> we healed one hit point. All right. Well, it looks like we weren't, weren't missing out on much, and I'm assuming I can't, right? Because I need to wait for... Oh, I healed four hit points. All right, we're going to call it there. We're, we're, I don't want to push that too hard. Um, traps, steal, lockpick, sneak. And I really don't see how to... Oh, can I repair my knife? Is that, is that a thing I just did? I don't know. I'm still, for the love of God, trying to figure out how to level up. But I really can't put it together. Because that that's what that means, right? That means that I can level up, I would assume. But I seriously can't figure out how to change anything. Hang on, let's Google this quickly. I'll be back in a second. Okay, <clears throat> so I learned, well actually I should bring this thing out. So if you press C, that brings up your skill menu and from your skill menu, you can now level up. Um, I It's looking kind of like I have, oh, I have 19 skill points? How, what rank am I, hello? What, does it tell me what rank I am? Oh, level two. Okay, wow, they really give you 19, huh? So it said that in your perks, every third experience level you can choose one perk. So that other trait that we have that gives us more, um, that, that made it so that we can't choose a perk as often. So now every fourth level we're going to choose a perk instead of every third, I believe, because of that trait skilled, right? The trade-off is you do not gain as many extra abilities. You will gain a perk every four levels. Yeah, so that's uh, not a problem for me. So... Um, we're looking at what we want to upgrade, and um, we're going to be doing our melee weapons to start. Now, we have 19 points, actually, so I'm kind of wanting to do three sets of this, so I could do, like, like eight, how much would that be, 11? Like, I could do, like, eight, six, and five, probably. We can even go more extreme and do, like, nine, six, and four. So we could do that. Now, that's just because strength is our highest, right? So our next highest is going to be agility, which has small guns, big guns, energy weapons, melee weapons, um, unarmed, throwing lockpicks, steel, and traps. So that's nine things that agility influences, which is um, a lot. So we're going to be upgrading number four of that, which is going to be our melee weapon. Oh, good. So we get to dump uh, one, two, three, four, five, six here. And the last thing is intelligence, which affects four skills. Doctor, science, repair, and outdoorsman. This is just, again, me randomizing stuff just because this is how I like to play. I, I like to just be subject to the whimsy of the game and let them tell me what to do. So we're going to do outdoorsman. I don't know what that is. Practical knowledge of the outdoors and the ability to live off the land. The knowledge of plants and animals. Um, damn, I don't know what good that does me, but I'm going to upgrade it, <laughs> okay? I, I'm going to upgrade Outdoorsman. Um, and so what this does for us is um, our melee is way better, which is great. That's probably what, what I would have upgraded anyways. Um, our, uh, our unarmed is still really good because we tagged it, so great. Um, I don't have the brass knuckles, though. I still might want to go pick those up from Shady Sands. Um, we have throwing, first aid, doctor, which is all good. So we're done here. And um, I, I kind of want to try first aid again. I'm not going to lie to you. So I'm going to try it again and see if I'm allowed to. Your the strain might kill you. Wow. Okay. So I'm not going to I'm not going to do that then. So I'm going to walk over here with two points. Give you the knife with three. Give you the knife with. Th I missed twice. Get out of there. Get out of there, Jonathan. Let's see if you enjoy this. Oh, Ian got it, dude. Ian's a badass, dude. He's dealing a lot of damage. He has much better build than we do, apparently. 
Our build is apparently trash. Oh, I forgot to start the timer. We'll only go to 10 minutes instead of 15 on this timer. I don't know how long this episode is going to be now. That's okay. I, I think I have an internal gut feeling. We'll try that. So I don't know where the water chip is. Um, we just kind of ended up over here because Ian was like a raving psychopath that one had like bloodlust for every moving thing in this floor. So we kind of just ended up in the computer room. Not really where I wanted to be because I don't know if the water chip is over here. So we're going to head over here and grab this ammo. In my new swifty leather jacket. Um, you know this to be the meeting room for the vault where the emergency supply cabinet would be is bur buried under tons of rock. Okay. So, oh, that's the emergency supply cabinet? Well, can I pick up the rock? Well, what the fuck? I think I got some ammo. Am I able to do anything with the rocks here or am I just fucked? Well, that's a shame. Can't come over here. Okay, well, let's check out these lockers then. See what's going on. Um, let's see. So we have a grenade. Oh, I can't really do anything with that. Okay, let's pick that up. I want all of it. And a dynamite. Oh, now we're talking, boys. This would have been useful a little bit ago. And now we have a locker with, oh, shit, a 10 millimeter SMG. Okay. How much weight can I carry? Because I'm carrying a lot of shit right now. Um, all right. So let's first check out our, well, I, I mean, with a melee build, grenades probably aren't very smart. So I don't want to do that. I think these would sell for a pretty penny, though, I think. Weighs one pound. Generic fragmentation grenade. Can it contain a small amount of high explosives? So what I want to do then is use this, right? An um, H and K MP9 submachine gun, 10 millimeter variant, medium sized SMG, capable of single shot and burst mode. It has 30 out of 30 shots and it weighs seven pounds. So can I unload the pistol? Oh yes, I can. Now I'm going to. Oh stop! Stop it! Cancel. I'm going. Just cancel. I want to use the fucking Jesus. Okay. I want to do that. And then, um, do I have anything in there? It has jacketed hollow point, um, which I probably don't want jacketed hollow point. What is this? This is about jacketed hollow point. This is 10 millimeter armor piercing. I would rather have this if that's an option. Let's see if I can push this together. I think I need to do this. And I think I can do that. And then I can probably mix this in. Okay, um, so 30 with the AP, because really the only reason I would use um, a gun is if my enemy is too heavily armored for my typical melee weapons to be effective. So I think that that's kind of what I want to roll with here. Um, I guess that's still what we'll use. I don't really see any other use. So it seems weird to me that they would specifically explicitly mention... A uh, pile of bleach bones. You cannot determine the species of the dead cr creature critters. It seems weird to me that they'd explicitly mention that there is uh, an emergency supply cabinet in here. And then say, oh, but it's buried under rocks, right? Like, it makes me think in my heart that we can expose that. And that makes me wonder if we can use our dynamite, maybe? So let's try pulling that out, actually. Maybe the dynamite can help us blast our way to the... Emergency supply cabinet. Can I use that with anything? Oh shit, I don't know what to do. Rocks. Large pile of rocks. They look indigenous to this region. Oh my god, there's a rat! No! The fucking dynamite, dude. That would have been a bad idea. The thing is, I don't want to waste the dynamite because I bet it's super valuable, actually. Um, I bet I could really use this for a lot of money. I just don't know where to put it. I don't know. <laughs> uh, small pile of rocks. Because the thing is, I would assume that maybe there's a cabinet in here under some rocks, but I don't know which pile of rocks, right? There's three. So I'm not even going to mess with it. I'd rather get the caps out of it than anything else. So clearly there's no water chip in here. I'm kind of wondering if this computer... Look, there's like a blue thing there. The computer's not functioning. Um, and there's really nothing else here, is there? There's a locker. So we can have a peek at that. Uh, the water chip has got to be somewhere in here, right? Or am I just drunk? 
Here comes... Oh, shit, it's a mole rat. Hang on, we gotta take care of this. Oh, I gotta get in range, though. Like, right here. Then we can attack! I'm on the offense! Alright, then we can end. End my turn. Um, and then we can definitely put the gun back, because I'm not interested in the dynamite. No! Oh my god, I thought he was... No, he's going, dude! He's going! He won He's on another murder rampage! God damn, Ian, I can't fucking control this guy. Look at him. Oh, is he just catching up with me? Good, okay. Well, I still want to go to that locker, but there's going to be a lot of combat along the way, which is fine. You know, we'll have to figure out what we're doing here. Um, can I knock out two birds with one stone here? We're going to try. We're going to try our damnedest. We did get a lot of melee damage upgrade. Oh, shit. I'm out of AP. I have two, though. I can walk away over here. And hopefully Ian will fix the, my problems for me. Oh, shit! <laughs> Ian, you psychopath! That took... I am so almost dead! Oh, no! Ian! Come on! Ah, uh, This fucking guy is the absolute worst I need to end my turn what the fuck oh shit that what there's a rat here I didn't even see it don't shoot me Ian I'm dead dude I am fucking dead I don't know what to tell you I'm going to not live anymore okay Ooh, I am really hurt I can't do any more first aid. Okay. Uh, God damn. I really hope that Ian doesn't shoot me again first and then second. That I can do first aid. Just let me do it, please. Uh-oh. We're in danger. Little does he know. He made a mistake coming over here. It's done. It's over. End my turn. Just let me do it again. I need to do it, please. Just let me... I, I just need to do this, okay? Can I doctor myself? No. Oh, you're too tired. God damn you. Let's see what's in this locker. Uh-oh. The boss. That's not going to be very hard, though. I got it. Don't worry about it. We got it. We got it. We got it. All right. Uh, so let's finally see what's in the fucking locker. And, uh, yeah, let's have a peek here and see. We got um, 40 of these, which are 44 Magnum F. I can't read that. I want all of it, though. I want all of it. All the ammo. Okay. I have no need for that. Well, I don't see anything down here. We'll continue exploring this a little bit next time. I have a feeling like there might not be a lot of chip here. But we're going to continue looking and uh, see if I'm missing anything. And then we will uh, go on from there. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Also, I forgot to save the game. Although, I definitely want to make a new save. Let's call this one... Um, that would be really offensive. I'm not going to call it that. What I'm going to say instead <laughs> is, um, shot in the heart and you're to blame. Well, I can't type that out, but I can go with that. So, or no, it's shot through the heart, but whatever. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> you give love a bandage.